today. Long division. Yeah, 2, 13, 19. So I want to do problem number one as I do problem number two. Okay, I'm going to do them together because the process in number one really is the same process. Long division is long division, okay? So first of all, the way I do this is I ask myself, well, in fact, let's make this an eight. Why don't you make that an eight real quickly? Everybody make that an eight? It might make it better if we make that an eight, okay? Everybody make that an eight? Make that an eight. So make, make that an eight instead. You know, make it follow along this one better, okay? So. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. All right, so what did we learn back in sixth grade? So we say, okay, five goes into eight how many times? One time. And so we put the one up here, right? Everybody agree with that? Yes. Now the same thing occurs down with polynomials. X, don't worry about the three, X, okay? So the X is what we divide by, okay? X goes into 4X to the fourth how many times? Now if you're not sure, I do a little side work. I say, oh, what is he talking about? X goes into 4X to the fourth how many times? We could do a little side work and say, well, okay, let's see. Side work, um, if I take 4X to the fourth and divide it by X, right? So I really am dividing 4X to the fourth by X, and hopefully that's 3X or 4X to the third. You guys agree with that? So X goes into 4X to the fourth. X goes into 4X to the fourth. 4x cubed. You guys agree with that? So the same thing. As I went, 5 goes into 8 one time, x goes into 4x to the fourth, 4x cubed times. Now, what do we do? Well, we multiply. We really go the 1 times 5, don't we? And we put down, that's a 5, okay? We do the same thing here, except we got to remember the 3. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to multiply my 4x times x, which makes a 4x to the fourth. And I'm going to go 4x times 3, because I have to remember the 3 is part of the problem. So 4x times 3 gives me a positive 12x cubed, right? So far, I'm just following long division. So then I subtract, right? Here's where I'm going to use my other color. Okay, I subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3, right? Down here, I have to subtract, but i got to subtract both of them. Now, here's my hint. Here's what helps me is I'm just going to think about changing the signs because when I subtract, it's like adding a negative. When I subtract, it's like adding a negative. So I'm just going to change signs. Negative, negative, okay? And then I add. So basically, when I change the signs, I'm adding a negative. Subtraction is just adding a negative. Is that sound right. Subtraction is just adding negative. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so then I get a, that's gone, right? And then I get a negative 14x cubed. Okay. Not a, t not a 10. Not a 10 because it's negative 2 subtract 12, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Now, next thing I'm going to do. Up here, I bring down the 4, right? Bring down the next term, so I bring down the 4. Correct? I'll do the same step here. I'll bring down my positive x squared. Okay? So then, so then I'm going to do the same thing here. 5 goes into 34. How many times? So 5 goes into 34. How about 6 times, right? And do the same thing here. x goes into negative 14x cubed. And of course, if I can't really think of that, I can do a little side work. A little side work is like, okay, well, that is negative 14x cubed divided by x. If you can't do that ahead, it's okay. Just do a little division. We're doing 14x cubed divided by x. Turns out to be a negative 14x squared, right? So 5 goes to 34 six times. x goes into negative 14x cubed, a negative 14x squared times, okay? Same process. Okay, so back up to here. 5 goes to 36. 5 times, 5 times. 6 is 30, right? I'm going to do the same process here. I'm going to go, okay, 14, negative 14x squared times x, a negative 14x cubed, and a negative 14x squared times a 3. What's that? Uh, 
42. Is that 42? It's got to be 42. Negative 42x squared, okay? We're doing the exact same thing as long division, okay? I went 6 times 5, and I got a 30, right? I went negative 14x squared times x and times 3, and I got a negative 14x cubed minus 14x squared, okay? So then up here, we're going to subtract, right? Okay, we're going to subtract. So down here, we're going to subtract. And this is where I like to change the sign because I'm going to subtract negatives. See that? I'm going to be careful. I'm going to subtract negatives, which is like adding. I'm going to subtract a negative, which is like adding. And that's why I like to change the sign so I don't make a mistake. Because you guys know me, I make lots of mistakes, right? This just helps me a little bit, okay? So 34 minus 30 is 4, right? I mean, that's easy. That's sixth grade math. But here, same process. Negative 14x cubed and a positive 14x cubed cancels. A positive 1x squared and a 42x squared is a positive 43x squared, right? Okay, how am I doing? It's just, a, it's just tedious, but it's the exact same process as long division, okay? So, what do I do up here? I bring down the next term, right? I bring down the 5, correct? So, I'm going to do the same thing. I bring down my negative 3x, okay? All right, then I ask myself, okay, 5 goes in 45, how many times? Nine times, right? So I'm going to put the 9 up here. Same process here. X goes into 43X squared. How many times? Oh, sorry. X goes into 43X squared. Uh, 43X. You guys agree with that one? 43X, okay. Positive 43X. Do you notice I keep erasing? Because I want to make sure I show the next multiply, right? Yes. Thank you. Alright. So, that'll help. That'll help Morgan, more than anybody, right? Okay, so, alright, same thing. Now, 5 times 9. You do this 5 times 9, you get 45. You guys agree? But you also have to now, now go to 43x times x, which is a 43x squared, and you got to go to the 43x times the 3. Okay, what's 43 times 3? I don't know, let's calculate 4. 43 times 3 is 129. Okay. Okay, again up here, what I'm going to do is subtract, right? And I get 0. Here I'm going to subtract, but it's easier just to change the sign so I don't make a mistake. So I'm going to add a negative, so I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract, subtract, and then I'm going to end up with cancels, and I'm going to get a negative 132, right? Is that an X? X, yes, thank you. Thank you, Caleb. X, totally, yes it is. Okay, now, erase. Thank you, Megan. All right, back up to what we did here. Okay, we bring down the next term, right? Bring down the next term, bring down the 1. So, same process, we're going to bring down the term, we're going to bring down a plus 5, okay? How am I doing? So now, 5 goes into 1, 0 times. You guys agree with that? Yeah. Okay, it's got to be 0. And then in this case, x goes into negative 132x, how about a negative 132 times? Negative 132, right? Yes, Joanna. Well, I'm going to take a negative 3, subtract 129. Negative 3, I'm going to subtract 129. So if I, real quickly, if I have a hole that's 3 feet deep, and I dig down another 129 feet, how far I'm going more negative, right? Got it? Okay, now, again, last, x goes into, so now we got to multiply, right? That times that makes a negative 132x. And 132 times 3, I don't know, it's 132 times 3 is going to be a negative 396. Okay. Johanna, watch this carefully, okay? This is going to help, okay? I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract a negative, like adding it, right? I'm going to subtract. So if I subtract a negative, it makes it a positive. That's why I like to change the signs so I don't make mistakes. Does that make sense why I change the signs? 
because I'm subtracting a negative. Okay, so then, gone, and then I get 400, is it 401? Yes. 401. Now, so, back in elementary school, back before we got sophisticated, we would have said the answer is 1,690 R1. R. Yeah, but we don't do remainders because it's stupid, right? That's for like fourth graders, right? So what do we do instead? One way we could do it is we could add a decimal and keep dividing, right? Yeah. Or we could change our answer to a fraction. Or the answer could be one-fifth, okay? So, which is point two. So the answer is just one-fifth, right? Now down here, we're going to do the same thing. My answer is, my answer is 4x cubed minus 14x squared plus 43x minus 132 plus 401 over x plus 3. Okay, now that's long division. That's kind of a pain, isn't it? Okay, now there is a shortcut for some of these. And I'm going to show you the shortcut, okay? Yeah, Daisy. Right, so here's my remainder. So let's go to this. Here's my remainder over my divisor. Here's my remainder over my divisor. Good question, right? Now, if, okay, turn the page. If it is a binomial, if it is just x plus a number, okay, or if it's x minus a number, okay, if it's x plus a number or x minus a number, we're going to do this little trick called synthetic division. It's fast, it's quick, and we get the same answer, but a lot more quickly. Okay, but it, So we could have done a trick with this one, which is what I'm going to show you. It makes it a lot faster. If this was not, this were an x squared or something besides that, you'd have to do the ugly long division. But let me show you a trick. It's called synthetic division. Okay, What is synthetic division? Everything's backwards, everything's opposite. Okay, Start with this. First of all, synthetic division. So if it's synthetic division, it's backwards, it's upside down, so we're going to make an upside down division sign, okay? So is there multiplication? There is multiplication involved in it, yes. So synthetic division, make it an upside down. So when we do synthetic division, do it upside down, so I know and you know we're doing another kind of division. Okay, what is synthetic division? Let me show you. So this number here, we're going to divide with. We're going to make it a negative. We're going to make it the opposite. Make it the opposite. And the reason we make it the opposite, not that you care, but some of you might, the reason we make it the opposite is because we are adding a negative. I'll say it again. We're adding a negative. So by making it the opposite, we are going to already made it negative. We're going to add a negative. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Now, what we want to do is put the numbers, not the, not the letters, not the x's. We're going to put a 4 here. We know there's an x to the 4th, but it's invisible. We're going to put a negative 2 here. We know there's a x cubed there, but it's invisible. We're going to put a 1 there. We know there's an x squared there, but it's invisible. We're going to put a 3 there, negative 3 there. We know there's an x there, but it's invisible. And we'll put a 4, OK? Now, below that, leave a little space. This is my, excuse me, if Mrs. Hesse were here, she'd be like, what? This is my adder line. And I know there's no such word as adder, okay? I know that. But we're going to call it our adder line. Okay with that? It's math class. I can do that, okay? It's called an adder line, okay? You're right. There's no such word as adder, okay? So now, how does this work, okay? We are going to do this. Everybody listening? We're gonna, I'm going to say it and then do it. I'm going to bring down the first term. Multiply, put it there, add. 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 And then my remainder would go right there. Okay, I'll, now I'm going to do it, okay? So first step, right off the bat, you have to bring the first term straight down. Okay? Bring the first term straight down. So four. Okay? Now, we're going to multiply. Negative 12 goes right there. Okay, negative 12 goes right there. Now, this is my adder line. So what is negative 2 plus negative 12? Negative 14. There you go. I'm going to 
multiply, right? I'm going to multiply. Come on, you guys. Um, so 3 times 14 is 42, right? It's a positive 42, right? And this is my adder line, right? So this becomes a 43. I'm going to multiply. Are you recognizing some of these numbers from the previous problem? Nope. Maybe. Uh, 3 times 42, 43. In fact, I, three, it was 43 times 3. I did already earlier. 129, right? Negative 129, right? It sure is. And then this is my adder line. What's negative 3 plus a negative 129? I think these numbers we had on the previous page, didn't we? I recognize these numbers. Okay, so then I multiply. Okay, what is 132 times 3? And I get a positive 396. Okay, and then I, um, um, and then I add, okay, 400. Okay, now these numbers represent the coefficients to x's. Now, here's the thing. My answer has to have x's in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I did divide by an x, even though I did it by an invisible way. So all of my answers are going to be one less power. I divided by an x, even though it was invisible. So my answer is going to be here a 4x cubed minus a 14x squared plus a 43x minus 132. Now, this is my remainder, right? So what do I do with my remainder? Plus 400 over what I divided by, which was originally, really, an x plus 3. Okay? Now, write that down. I'm going to flip my page and see if I got it right. This is actually a lot easier. Okay, I'll wait for you. Mr. Davies, you would have, but you made the equation right from this one. Huh? Did I make a mistake? Oh, I did change it. Did I change it? Yeah. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay. So turn the page. Pretty close, except for Caleb's right. I changed it slightly on that one, okay? All right, now, let's do it again. Okay, let's do it again, okay? So, we're going to do synthetic division, okay? Let's do it one more time. So, let's start with upside down division, okay? Now, before you do anything, you absolutely have to recognize that there's no x to the fourth term. You guys see that? You need a space for it. So I'm going to tuck in 0x to the fourth right in there, okay? You have to have that space, okay? You need to have some x to the fifth. You need to have an x to the fourth, 3, 2, 1, okay? You have to. So when I put in my numbers, I'm going to put a 5 here for my 5x to the fifth. I'll put a zero in here to claim the x to the fourth spot. You gotta claim every spot. I'll put a three in here for my three x cubed, a four in here for my four x squared, a minus four for my negative four x, and then my one here. Okay, so I put in the coefficients. Don't, if you have a missing term, you have to put it in there. That's gonna be on your quiz. Don't miss it on your quiz, all right? I will put one on there where you're going to have a missing term. Don't blow that, okay? Now, I'm going to put a positive 2 here because I'm going to take the opposite, okay? Because I'm going to add a negative. That's why I do it. Instead of subtracting, we just add because we've changed signs. So add a negative. Okay, now, put my adder line, and this is my remainder, okay? All right, everybody have that? So let's do it again. I'll go through it slowly. I'll wait for you. I'll go through it slowly. It's a cool little trick. It's a lot... It's a lot easier than doing this. It really is. Okay. okay and I have kids that say, no, I like this better, Mr. Dave. I'm like, okay, only one or two of you will say, I like that better. Go for it, okay? I like this better, okay? So what's the first step? Just bring the five. First term just comes straight down. Bring the five because you have to occupy it, okay? Bring that five straight down, okay? And then we're going to multiply. So we get a 10, right? This is my adder line. So I get a 10. Multiply. I get a 20. Add. I get a 23. Multiply. I get a 46. 
add, I get a 50, multiply, I get a 100, add, I get a 96, multiply, I get 192, add, and I get 193. Now my answer really has to do with x's, right? So let's put the x's back in. Yeah, Caleb? 40 times 2. Uh, 40 times 2? Where, where am I at? It's 10 and 40. It's 46. Oh, 23 times 2. It's 46. Oh. Okay. No, if I make a mistake, please let me know, okay? So my answer it has to do with the x's, right? <laughs> Let's put the x's back in, because what I'm really dividing is x minus 2 by 5x to the fifth plus 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 4x. Okay, that's really what I'm dividing. So let's put the x's back in. Since I am dividing by x, then this is going to be by one less powers. Makes sense. I'm divided by x. So my answer is going to be a 5x to the fourth plus a 10x cubed plus a 23x squared plus 50x plus 96 plus... 193 over what I divided by, which is x minus 2, okay? All right. Now, real quick, let's take a look at your journal, all right? 